Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell. First, I got a comment on my hair. I don't know where this is coming from. You know, I have let it grow. It's actually gone for about two months, which is very rare for me. And I had convinced myself that it was forming really nicely and I was never going to have to cut it. But now I'm looking at it and I'm saying, eh, it's got to go. So I guess tomorrow I'll be heading to the barbershop. So this may be the last time you see this kind of hair for a while. Anyway, I got a question for you. Do you sometimes feel dumb? And I don't mean that you're a dumb person because I don't think I'm a dumb person. Matter of fact, I know I'm not. And yet, I got to tell you the truth. There are some times when I'm reading a blog post that other people seem to understand and I have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. I, I totally miss it. The language just seems kind of foreign to me. Even if it's English, I just don't know what they're saying. It, it, it's kind of like this, this thing where people have these words that they use and they use it to communicate in certain ways and people in those same industries may know what they're talking about or people who are used to kind of talking this vague kind of speak know what they're talking about and I get confused. Now there's things I don't know anything about. If you start talking about cars, I know nothing about cars. I know how to drive them. That's about it. Okay, I know how to put the gas in. I don't know where the oil goes. I don't know how to replace the, the windshield wiper. <laughs> I don't know how to do any of that stuff. You know, I, I, I'm just clueless. I don't know, uh, you know what, if I had to try to tell you what I don't know, we'd be here all night long. Still, there's a lot of things I do know. I happen to know something about blogging. I mean, next week, actually Sunday, will be the 10th anniversary of my business blog. I know something about blogging. I've been blogging and I'm just sharing for seven years. Yet, sometimes I read these posts by people who say, this is how you get more traffic, or this is how you uh, write better titles, or this is how you do whatever. And they're not really saying anything. And I get so confused because so many other people are saying, absolutely right, you're the best. I, you know, I'm going to pray to you or something like that. Okay, that's a bit strong, but still. I don't know what they're saying. I don't I don't really get it. And I sometimes wonder if I'm the dumb guy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I can't be the only one who feels this way. Maybe I am. Maybe I really am the dumb guy. Maybe I just am meant to be the guy who doesn't get it. Maybe I'm doing these videos that mean absolutely nothing to anybody. And maybe that's why I don't have more subscribers because people start watching the video say well who's this dumb guy he, he's not really saying anything or maybe sometimes I say too much you know my friend Bev and I were talking and she said you know I think most of your videos are way too long well <laughs> you know I, I'm sorry uh, you know in, in a way I kind of feel like the Mozart thing the video is as long as it's going to be it's as short as it's going to be. Just like when I write blog posts, they're as long or as short as they're going to be. I don't set out to plan how long a video is going to be unless it's an interview, which I try to do hour-long interviews. But I don't set out to plan how short anything is going to be or how long anything is going to be. I just do it. But when I do it, for instance, my last video talking about sleep apnea, where I showed you the mask and all this other kind of stuff, you know what? I think I told you everything you needed to know about a CPAP, about a BiPAP, about the mask, about why you need to breathe better, about sleep apnea. I think I told you enough stuff. I think that when I talked about five ways of doing videos better or interviews better, I think I lined them out perfectly. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking that one of the things I like to try to do is make sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So I explain stuff. Now, maybe folks don't like stuff explained to them. Maybe they just want you to say, um, write better content. I don't know what that means. But everyone else seems to know, oh, I'll write great content. What is great content? I don't know. So if you've got a thought on this, please let me know. Give me your thoughts on this because, you know, maybe... I should cut everything out and just tell you five things about life and just mention the five things and say, that's it. Bye. And I'm gone. <laughs> don't give you any story. Don't give you any perspective. Don't give you any background. Maybe I should tell you how to write blog posts and just mention five things and don't explain anything and leave. I don't know. You tell me. Do you feel like a dumb guy or a dumb girl? Am I wrong? Am I right? Am I just seeing this way too far? I'm going to stop at five minutes. Mitch Mitchell, y'all take care.